I'd like to start by thanking the fans, student section. I thought it was just a tremendous environment for college football tonight. I thought it was a great showcase, <coughs> not only for our university, but for our entire state, the way they came out and supported us. It's never been better. It's as good as any environment we've had here, it's certainly in the, in the eight years I've been here. Certainly disappointed in the game. Probably does not even need to be said. I felt like the critical, critical kind of swinging point in the game, we fake a field goal for a touchdown, it gets called back from, for a penalty, they end up driving for a touchdown, then we have a fumble on a kickoff return, it's kind of a 21 point swing in a very short amount of time. And we were never able to really swing the momentum back, and that's my job. So I, I take responsibility for that. I, I just didn't seem to be able to find a way to swing the momentum back in our favor, and, and that's unfortunate. <clears throat> I couldn't be prouder of the players and the effort they showed tonight. You know, we made some tremendous plays on offense, big plays, which you know when you look at, at the end of the game, you see the, the time of possession skewed in, in, in a tremendous way. But, but I think the, the reality is this. They have a tremendous playmaker at the quarterback position. And at the end of the game, and even during the game, he made some great plays, and we just weren't able to match him in the end. And they were just a little bit better than we were today. Congratulations to Coach Strong. They've got an excellent football team. And going forward now, we'll wait till Sunday and, and find out what bowl game we're playing in and who the opponent is. And I'd be proud of a football team that won nine games and won a share of the Big East title for the first time in the history of this university. Questions? Kyle, on the fake field goal, did you see the guy downfield or anything that they I called the final? I have to look at it on film and talk to Dave and Rob and see if it was a, a route that got broken off earlier than it should have or Gary misreading the throw. I'm not sure which one it is just yet. This was a squandered opportunity. You're 14 3, you got the ball in the second half to start the second half. You had control of the game. I mean, I don't know if the, there's a lot of game left to play at that point. You know, to, Winning the first half doesn't guarantee you that you're going to win the game. We certainly were pleased to be in, you know, in the in at halftime with that score. I think the, the missed opportunity for us was that we didn't play clean enough football for 60 minutes to win the football game. When there's a, a momentum swing in the game, the head coach has to find a way to try and swing it back, and I wasn't able to do that. Kyle, they had it for 42 minutes. Did you get the sense that the defense in the second half was a little fatigued at all or kind of? I really didn't because, to me, when you, when you have a fatigued defense, usually that shows itself with your inability to stop the run. But I never felt at any point in that game that we have an inability to stop the run. I, I thought we got them in some long third down and third and long situations, and Teddy Bridgewater made some spectacular throws, and their receivers made some excellent catches, and they were able to convert. Did you have to say anything specific to, to Kim or to Jeremy uh, after the game tonight? I met with the players as a whole. I haven't met with them individually. But when we're done here, I'll, I will go back down and I'll see really all the players. I, I think we have a football team right now that's hurting. <clears throat> They've poured a lot of their lives into this season, and they fought extremely hard today. Unfortunately, we didn't do it well enough. That's the reality of today. But the, the effort and the emotion that was poured into that game, right now their hearts have been ripped out. Kyle, offensively you had the two big touchdown plays. But other than that, what, what did you see on why things couldn't get going more consistently? I felt like at times during the game we ran the ball well, but you're right. The, you know, the, two, the two big play touchdowns you know, through the passing game, we didn't have a lot of plays in the first half. And when you don't have a lot of plays, it just it's, you never seem to be in a, in a great rhythm. You know, and then in the second half, we start in poor field position. 
you know, we fielded the kickoff, you know, start the second half, I think on the nine yard line. It was where that drive started. And then the next drive, we moved the ball pretty good. Like I said, we started on the minus 36 plays. We get down here, you know, run the fake field goal. We're in decent shape. And then also the next time we get the ball back, we're behind. So a completely different type of game. So it, the game lacked a little rhythm for us offensively, but I think it was more due to the, just the lack of plays that we had more than anything else. Coach, how, how much different of a, of a team is Louisville with Bridgewater at quarterback as opposed to with Stein at quarterback? I think any time you have a great player, he makes your team better. I think it's significant. You, you see some of those throws that he made. I don't know that there's anybody else in our league that can make those throws. Probably the only other quarterback we saw all year that could make those throws would be a kid from Arkansas. <coughs> Kyle, how long do you, do you kind of let the players kind of sit through this one before kind of looking ahead to the bowl game and proceeding forward? And we're going to get back together on Sunday, and, and we'll watch the bowl selection show together as a team and find out who our opponent is and, and what destination we're going to go to. And then at that point, yeah, at that point, it, it's time to look at the whole season as a body of work. You know, this one hurts, and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But we're going to get through it as a football team. We're, we're going to move on. We're going we're to get better. And when we go out to play that ball game, we're going to do it the way we do it every year. We're going to go out to win that ball game. Kyle, Brandon Jones, I guess, what happened to him? And Lower body injury. Couldn't come back in the second half. But other than that, I don't really have an update just yet. Any other questions for Kyle? Kyle, when you, you said you hadn't had a chance to talk to guys in the field. I mean, when you see a player like Tim Captain, the senior, been around as long as he has, uh, I mean, what, when you do talk to him, what can you say to him to make sure that he's not? fixating on those drops or whatever that he's heading to. What I say to him is it's okay to hurt. It's okay to hurt. When you when you care about something as much as these players do, when you work as hard to attain it as they do, when you pour as much as your, of your life into it like they do, when you don't get it, it's okay to hurt. There's nothing wrong with that. What's not okay is to stop. And I don't think you'll see that from any of the players in our program. And then the other thing I tell them is I thank them. I thank them for all the effort that they've given me. I thank them for the way they represent this university. And I, and I make sure I promise them that, hey, when we get going on the next one, which for, uh, for us right now is going to be the bowl game, they're going to get every ounce of me to make sure we do a better job in that bowl game than we did today. Coach, were you disappointed at all with, uh, with special teams and your limited impact on the, on the game? I'm disappointed we had a turnover on special teams. I'm disappointed we had a penalty on special teams that that, that ended up bringing a touchdown back. I mean, those things I'm, I'm disappointed in, not special teams in, in general. You know, my, my disappointments are in things that we didn't execute well. Got time for two more. Kyle, back to, with the fake fuel, do you – does that do anything to a team emotionally when you have like, kind of points pulled off the board like that? Do you, does that? I think it does. Yeah, those are momentum swings, you know, and that's what and that's kind of what I was saying before. You know, we have we have the touchdown call back, then they get a touchdown, then we have a turnover. So that's a, again a tremendous a tremendous momentum swing in the game in their favor, and I need to find a way to swing it back, and I didn't do that, and that's completely on me.